about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hello and welcome back to our channel I thought I would do a little pup date for you Hobbs is now 15 weeks and one day old so he was 15 weeks old yesterday we have had him since he was just over eight weeks old so in case any of you haven't seen the video where we brought Hobbs home and you are wondering he was born with only one eye it's he's showing you his good eye at the moment um, but on the other side he actually has a very very small eye behind there and his third eyelid has fused closed over it before he was born and it's created a completely sealed unit so we've had several vet checkups since we've had him and all the vets say it's completely fine and to leave it alone they think he can see like light and dark out of it but they've said that there is a possibility if it does start to get infections or weep a lot if it causes him any problems we can just have that whole part removed and just stitched closed but if it doesn't get any infections or if he seems fine with it then leave well alone because it is a sealed unit and he is absolutely fine so we thought we'd just do a little video on how his first few weeks have been and take you through things like where he sleeps how we get him to walk nicely what his favorite toys are uh, what we feed the dogs and things like that a little bit of training his first bath we just wanted to document it all and some little tips for anyone who's got a puppy they might help you out because they certainly are hard work aren't you so what I'm gonna do I've been filming over the last sort of four weeks or so and I'm going to string together a few bits and talk you through how we've been dealing with a French Bulldog puppy so this was the first time Hobbs had ever set foot on the ground outside. He finished all his courses of vaccinations and we'd waited the week that the vet told us to. So we clipped on his little harness and off we went. French Bulldogs always need to wear harnesses rather than collars. They cannot have any pulling on their neck because their throats and necks are very sensitive. They're not actually that strong and they can have problems breathing very, very easily. Also, they're very front heavy and they pull very, very hard with their chest. They're extremely strong and that kind of pressure on their windpipe is not good. So we've got him his little harness and he's doing really well here. He's trotting along. But I must say that now he is 15 weeks. I take him down to school and and we do stop every probably 30 steps or so for him to sit down and chew his lead or just have a look around. I think the trick is to use lots of treats and lots of praise. Hobbs is very food driven so he will come to you for food and he will follow you for food and also just don't force it. I think one of the favourite parts of his first ever walk was meeting all the other dogs. He absolutely loves other dogs' company. I don't know if it's because of Siren, but he's just so good with them and he goes up to every single dog he meets and licks them straight in the face. So he definitely needs to learn a few manners, but it really is important with any puppy to socialise them with as many dogs as you can, as young as possible, so that they don't get that fear or aggression that some dogs can develop when they don't meet enough new animals. So after all the excitement of his first walk he was covered in mud and we gave him another first which was his first bath. We kept it very short, lots of treats, lots of praise and it was just a quick dunk for about two minutes then we got him out and wrapped him up nice and warm and he really enjoyed it because now every time I get in the bath or the boys get in the bath he tries to jump in. So this is where Hobbs sleeps during the day when we're not in, isn't it, little buddy? You hear Siren in the background now, she's jealous, she can't be in it. 
but this is invaluable it keeps him safe it means if anyone knocks on the door we can just put him away and open it without fear of him running into the road he's got his little blanket over the top so it feels a little bit more secure reserved for the dog that's Hobbs little cushion I just got this grey basket from Lidl's just to pop all his toys in because firstly it just looks nice if you pick them up when he's not using them and also the things like this really hurt when you tread on them with bare feet and we only shut the gate if like I said if someone comes to the door or if we're out of the room and we need to like supervise him because things like these wires and that that are along here he would just get hold of those and start chewing them so yeah I recommend anybody gets one of these we've still got a crate like this for siren as well and she sleeps in hers at night and again it's just nice when someone rings on the door or if we have to go out we can put her in it and she goes in and out all day as she pleases we rarely shut her door she just goes and curls up and uses it as her bed basically and you're just gonna lay and get to sleep with your crocodile aren't you are you tired now you like it in there don't you and there he is in his little corner and it's all nice and cozy we've actually had to put a lid here to stop him running behind the telly when he's out because he likes to go and chew wires but yeah i'm just going to leave him now to have a well-deserved nap so i also wanted to show you where Hobbs sleeps at night at the moment this is a tried and tested formula that has worked for both of our puppies so satchmo and siren it helped with their toilet training they were sleeping through the night and fully toilet trained at night by sort of between three and four months and we've had no crying and no howling. So what's recommended is that you get a crate like the one we have downstairs but a lot smaller so they only have room to stand up and turn around in it. So they should be able to stretch out but they shouldn't be able to like get away from their toilet if you know what I mean because dogs don't actually like to go where they sleep. But if you put a dog in a bed where if they go to toilet they're going to have to sleep in it it helps them learn a lot faster that they can't go and they need to hold it so what I do is I've got this down here by my bed this is Hobbs's corner and this is the same crate that I used for Satchmo and Siren obviously if you've got a bigger dog you're gonna need a bigger crate this is just like a little vet sort of carry bed and it's just got a little zip over flap at the top and he just goes in there he's got his little toy he's got a blanket and he's got my jumper that I was putting in the bin and then decided to give it to him because I'd worn it so I thought he could sleep on that and it smells of me it's got mesh both sides back front back and this side as well as you can see so I just pop him in there and it's right next to my bed like I'm here so what I do is at night I take him out around 10 o'clock and then what I was doing is taking him out every couple of hours um, or if he stirred so at first it was like every hour he was fussing and moving around and whimpering so I take him outside I don't talk to him I put on minimal light I just pop him down completely different to during the day don't even say good boy if he goes I just pick him back up bring him back in and put him back to his bed if he cries a little i just put my hand there so that he knows that i'm there and he generally quiet and straight down that then got to be every two hours now he's near enough 12 weeks old he's actually going from around 10 o'clock till about three o'clock and then until it's time to wake up and we get up every day at about half half five six o'clock it really does work and i think within the next few weeks we're going to slowly transition him downstairs first of all he'll go into his bed in the lounge which i showed you earlier and then eventually we will move that into the kitchen next to Siren so that they're together at night as well. So I wanted to show you a little bit of how I feed the dogs. We do feed them raw food and I'm just making them their coconut oil and turmeric treats. Basically I use coconut oil, turmeric and black pepper and then I melt it and pour it into these moulds. I then pop it in the fridge and it's the right portion to just pop one in their dinner every day. At the moment Hobbs isn't having these because obviously he's too young and we need to adjust things slowly for his belly but I'll show you how these came out. Right so it is dinner time and I have a puppy crawling up my leg. These are the treats when they are finished. I've put them in a glass jar but Basically, they're all just ready to pop one into, I put one into Siren's bowl. Hobbs isn't having these just yet. They sort of, they're not the prettiest looking things. The pepper and turmeric does sort of sink to the bottom, but it's everything they need. Siren will just have one of these a day and I'm gonna to start to introduce them to Hobbs and he's gonna have quarter, <laughs> a quarter a day to start with and then probably half and then we'll build him up. So I've made all of those ready and it just makes feeding them so much simpler. So what I'll do now, I'll pop you down and make sure 
If you don't like raw meat or anything, then look away now. It's just dog food. But I put the little bolt on the scales and zero it. At the I'll do Hobbs first. At the moment, Hobbs is having 70 grams of meat. That's 75, that's fine. Three times a day. He's got his salmon oil. This is the Robbie's Scottish salmon oil. He's having two good squirts of that they also have apple cider vinegar in their food this helps with digestion especially as they're on the raw it helps with the ph balance of their stomach and it's good for so many things i know so many adults that actually take this and um, turmeric as well so give it a good shake you must get the apple cider vinegar that contains the mother it says on it with the mother in yellow so you must get that one i actually buy this in home bargains Hobbs just has half a teaspoon on his food once a day the salmon oil is only all of this is only once a day obviously the other two times we feed him it's just the plain meat and this is Hobbs done so siren will have her meat and they have a mixture so one day they will have one with a bone content one day they will have one with more offal content you really do need to mix that up so that they get enough calcium but they also get enough lung and heart meat and they get muscle meat they also have whole bones as well um but Hobbs is a little bit young yet and siren is a little bit greedy with raw feeding so we have to be careful what whole bones we give her but they do have a lot of antlers and bull horns and things to chew on to keep their teeth really clean so she has 120 grams twice a day that's that if you'd like to see it so i will just pop in one of these little treats that i made she will eat anything if your dogs don't eat them you could always melt that down she has her salmon oil so she's going to have three squirts and she has one whole make sure i shake it she has one whole teaspoon of apple cider vinegar so in those treats, she's got her turmeric, she's got her coconut oil and her black pepper, which actually activates the beneficial properties of the turmeric. I'm not sure why, don't ask me why, but apparently it does. And like I said, you can just melt these down in your dog's food if you want to, or feed them as treats. You don't have to put it in their food, or you can add it all separately. Sometimes if I haven't got around to making a batch, I will just add half a teaspoon of turmeric and a teaspoon of coconut oil to her food. So that's basically Siren's dinner. We've got Hobbs dinner. And yes, it's coming and I'm just going to feed him. He's starving. He can't bear to wait. You sit. Good boy. And there he goes. Tucking in. Happy little pup. So Siren's waiting patiently for her dinner. Good girl. Leave it. Look at me. Go on then. Good girl. Let's go. So we were contacted by a company called Land of Holistic Pets and they said that they'd seen our video on Hobbs and also our Florida videos because they're off there on their holidays and they wondered if we'd like to try some of their dog food seeing as they know that we raw feed and we really care about what the dogs eat. So they sent us this pack of foods to try out. Now this is the kind of thing that we give the dogs all the time. We buy it just like this. It's just all different minces. We buy, we have chicken, beef, lamb. I mean, here we've got a selection of tripe minces. They smell really bad but they're so good for your dogs. If you for some reason you don't want to feed raw food because not everybody does either for personal reasons or like hygiene reasons or maybe you just don't like the thought of raw meats then they also do what they call their Robbie's holistic cuisine and these are premium dog foods and basically it's like a dehydrated dog food and it has all the best ingredients in it so this one for example has got chicken meat, lamb meat, brown rice, oats, rice, carrots, spinach, seaweed, green beans, chicken liver, lamb fat, sunflower oil, minerals, it's got a prebiotic in it, thyme, spearmint, parsley, oregano, sage and you just add hot water and it's a really good alternative to feeding your dogs raw food if you still want to give them the best possible meal that you can and it really does help against things like allergies which French Bulldogs especially suffer with. They have terrible skin problems, it helps with their coat, their joints, their teeth and everything. So we've got these are like a complete food. They also do like a wet food because some dogs won't eat dried foods or even dried foods that are mixed with water. They do a range of their own sort of wet foods. And this is salmon, white, salmon and white fish with sweet potato and vegetables. And it's a complete food. 
and 100% natural ingredients and actually it looks too good for a dog when you look at the ingredients in it it's literally just got salmon, white fish, sweet potato, mixed herbs, sunflower oil and then some prebiotics, some seaweed, some yucca extract. So to add to our raw mixture, we've got we've been sent these and these are again a holistic premium dog food, but these are wheat and gluten free, they're hypoallergenic and it's basically a dehydrated mixer to add to the meat. Also the ingredients in it are all natural, so you've got dehydrated carrots, green beans, spearmint, oregano, sage. It's just flavorings for your dog's food and you can just mix this in with their mints or whatever you give them and the other thing we've got given was this scottish salmon oil it says on it get it's for dry and itchy skin a soft shiny coat it supports the immune system reduces inflammation aids kidney and heart disease and reduces ibd symptoms so with regards to delivery if you spend under 30 pound delivery is five pound 20 but if you spend between 30 and 40 delivery is three pound but if you spend over 44 then delivery within two working days is free so i will leave all of this link down below i will link the company which is land of holistic pets i will also leave their instagram link down below make sure you go and check them out and uh, we will be keeping you updated as to what the dogs think of this food so the last thing I wanted to show you was what I do when I take Hobbs out for the toilet and toilet training. Basically at least every hour now he's a bit older I take him outside, I put him in exactly the same spot and tell him to go wee wee. You can see he's looking at me because I'm making a huge fuss of him telling him what a good boy he is and he will come in and get a treat for that and he's very food driven so lots of praise, lots of treats every time he does a wee or a poo wherever you want him to and it's working really really well and he knows what he's supposed to be doing so i hope you have enjoyed that little update on hobbs's life so far we really haven't scratched the surface i really could have gone on and on and on i tried to keep it a short video and as i was editing no i didn't <laughs> Uh, that siren tearing up a toy but I was trying to keep it short and as I was editing I was thinking this is getting longer and longer and longer but I could just we absolutely love French Bulldogs their temperament is amazing I mean he is so cuddly I'm actually sitting here editing at the moment my MacBook's here and he will often sit like this and fall asleep and I have to edit one hand. We will be including him in our family vlogs. I'll probably do another update when he gets to about six months just to show how his training's coming along and you know, how, how things are going. He's just chilling out. But he is the most loving and affectionate dog. He's getting very annoyed with her. She's a destructive little madam. You can hear her chewing. Every time I pick up the camera, it's like a tension. I think she thinks I'm talking to a person. She starts destroying toys and blankets and all sorts. So I'm gonna go and rescue the toy that she's, it's not, not one of your favorites, don't worry. So we are gonna say goodbye now because this little one wants to go and find out exactly what his big sister is eating and why he can't have a go. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions at all, either go and follow us on Instagram, it's the Folger family, and just DM me and I'll answer, or leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So from me and Hobbs and Naughty Siren in the background, we will see you guys all in our next video. This is what we waited for.